What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is John Paul Investing. So today I wanted to go over the uh, recent appointment by Nano Dimension of the newest member on their board of directors. His name is Dr. Eli David and Dr. Eli David specializes in artificial intelligence and deep learning specifically. He has his own website. I watched a video on his website that is also here on YouTube. He's a really smart guy and uh, I wanna share with you what I learned from watching his uh, his most recent video and reading through a couple of the companies that he's uh, co-founded and uh, just give you guys a little background into Dr. Eli David, just so you guys know what kind of contribution that uh, he could have for Nano Dimension going forward. I will right off the bat say that Dr. Eli David is, um, I think, going to be a crucial addition to Nano Dimension. But after looking at a few things that I've come across and which I'm going to share with you guys, uh, it's taken me maybe an hour, hour and a half to look through all of this. It really is uh, pretty exciting stuff uh, from what I'm reading and the presentation that I watched earlier uh, I think you guys are gonna really like this so nano dimension did appoint him here's the uh, press release by nano dimension I wanted to go down to you have Stern's comment I am thrilled to have dr. David join our board of directors as a leading global thought leader in AI and a member of the Forbes Technology Council his expertise and global business connections will be invaluable as we develop an advanced AI application in machine learning I look forward to Dr. David's input towards our next generation 3D additive manufacturing of electronics technology, which is envisioned to evolve into a network of fabrication and assembly system of high performance electronic devices. We foresee a neural network like array of machines connected wirelessly and building a massive amount of cloud residence fabrication process and materials data, sharing it for cross machine performance improvements, well as ERP and production management. ERP, I'm not sure what that means. Give me one second. We found out that ERP stands for Enterprise Research Planning. Dr. David then added to uh, Yoav Stern's comment, I'm confident that NanoDimension will benefit from employing advanced AI and specifically neural networks for dramatically improving and optimizing its fabrication processes. And I hope my expertise in these fields as well as my global business and scientific network will prove beneficial to the company. So what I did get from the uh, the article or the press release that NanoDimension released is that they are going to be able to use artificial intelligence to make the machines run more efficiently. And what I think this means is this is going to take me a little bit more into the uh, the other research I did. But um, with the way that uh, Dr. David approaches deep learning and artificial intelligence, the way he put it is that it simply requires too much hardware and power right now to run deep learning neural networks or any kind of artificial intelligence. Uh, he was saying computers require, you know, or GPUs specifically or the graphics cards in your computer. Those require, uh, you know, a couple hundred watts, whereas the human brain, which is very smart uh, only requires about 20 watts of power so that's the whole gist of what he's basically uh, trying to solve and achieve with uh, every new iteration of whatever kind of deep learn uh, deep learning he's doing he wants to make artificial intelligence more compact to where you don't need all of this dedicated hardware and you can just put them uh, just integrate them into the uh, CPUs or uh, whatever else you could apply them to I think ASICs as well essentially giving them the identical computational power but not requiring nearly as much you know memory or uh, power so not only did he mention that nano dimension could benefit from the artificial intelligence or the uh, expertise that he has but but they can also benefit from the business network that he has in the space uh, i was on his website already and i was also on deepcube.com which is another uh, business that he co-founded and I did see some case studies or comments from a well-known GPU company known as NVIDIA. NVIDIA is a very well-established GPU manufacturing company. And, uh, you know, they're very well-known out there in the computer community. Or if you've ever done just a basic graphics update on your computer, you've probably seen their name somewhere. EliDavid.com. He has a lot of information about himself and a lot of publications of his that you can go and read if you would like. There's also a really good video here that I think you guys should watch at some point. Uh, it's only about 50 15 minutes long and he goes really uh, in depth into the problem that he's trying to solve with his business deep cube and uh, another one called deep instinct which i'll go over briefly here in a second so i went on their website deepcube.com and if you go to technology up here on the top it leads you to this page here which basically puts deep cubes technology in a nutshell 
DeepCube focuses on research and development of deep learning technologies that result in improved real-world deployment of AI systems. The company's numerous patented innovations include methods for faster and more accurate training of deep learning modules, models, and drastically improved inference performance. DeepCube's proprietary framework can be deployed on top of any existing hardware in both data centers and edge devices, resulting in over 10 times speed improvement and memory reduction. So this is all uh, developed with the help of Dr. Eli David. I think this is really exciting stuff, especially if we're going to appoint him to NanoDimension. This is, uh, this is really big news. And just to give you guys a small taste of Deep Instinct, if you want to read more, I would recommend you go on their website. Remember, this is deep learning. It is not just artificial intelligence, which is usually bulk requires a lot of hardware and a lot of power. So I will leave a link in the description to Dr. Eli David's speech, uh, The Deep Learning Revolution at Samsung CEO Summit. Uh, this is a 15 minute video. Uh, it doesn't take too long to watch. This is something that if you are, you know, trying to figure out if you should be a confident investor in NanoDimension, the more you learn about, you know, the, the, the things that are, you know, coming together with them as a business, the more value you'll start to see in NanoDimension as a, as a business and their product. And, you know, I think this is really big news that they uh, finally have a person like this on their team. Dr. Eli David is going to be a valuable asset to NanoDimension going forward, and I'm really glad to have him in the business, and it makes me a lot more confident as an investor in NanoDimension. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Just wanted to give you guys an update on Dr. Eli David. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button, and while you're down there, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.